Once upon a time, in a small town nestled between hills, there lived a young boy. Like many boys of his age, he loved playing with his friends, watching the clouds pass by and listening to the birds sing. But there was one area in which the boy struggled immensely, and that was his studies. No matter how hard he tried, he could never grasp the concepts or remember the facts. His classmates often laughed at his mistakes, which made him even more disheartened. One day, while walking in the forest near his town, the boy stumbled upon a quaint temple. Curiously, he went inside and found a Zen monk sitting in deep meditation. The serenity of the place and the monk's aura of calmness made the boy feel at ease. Gathering up the courage, the boy approached the Zen master and said, Master, I am very weak in my studies. I forget what I learn and I find it hard to concentrate. Can you help me? The Zen master opened his eyes, gave the boy a gentle smile, and said, Certainly. But first, you must learn to understand the essence of studying and the mind. Therefore, I will give you some valuable tips, by which you can concentrate your mind and improve in studies. Then the Zen master started explaining. The first tip is to clear your mind. The Zen master gave the boy a small jar filled with muddy water. What do you see? He asked the boy. The boy looked at the jar and replied. It's muddy water. It's muddy water. Now, I will put the jar here and we will wait, said the monk. After an hour, the dirt had settled to the bottom, and the water became clear. Then the Zen master said, pointing to the jar, This is your mind. When it is agitated with thoughts of play, fear, or distractions, you cannot see clearly. But when you calm your mind, clarity emerges. Therefore, before studying, take a few moments to meditate, focusing on your breathing, clearing your mind of distractions. By doing this, whatever you read, you will understand it better. Second, focus on the present. The master then pointed to a burning candle and asked the boy to watch the flame without letting his mind wander here and there. Initially, the boy's mind drifted to his classmates, his failures, and other things. But after some time, with practice, he could focus solely on the flame. Then the Zen master said, You see, the past is gone and the future is yet to come. Therefore, when you study, be in the present. If your mind drifts to past mistakes or future worries, Gently bring it back and focus on your study. Whenever you study, give it your undivided attention and be in the present moment. Third, absorb the knowledge, don't memorize. The Zen master gave the boy a sponge and a stone. Then he poured water over both. The sponge absorbed the water, while the water just slid off the stone. Then the Zen master said, Many students try to memorize facts like the stone, letting them slide away after a while. Instead, be like the sponge, absorbing the knowledge and understanding it. Make it a part of you, don't just memorize. Understand the concepts, visualize them, and relate them to real-life scenarios. Thus, you will never forget what you have learned and will remember it forever. Fourth, break the task into steps. Then the Zen master presented the boy with a large block of wood and asked him to split it into pieces. The boy tried hard but failed. The monk then showed him how to chisel it little by little, eventually breaking it apart. Then he said, 
When faced with a big task, break it into smaller tasks. Study in chunks, grasp a bit at a time. And eventually, you will understand the whole. Therefore, divide your study material into sections, focusing on one section at a time. Take small breaks and then move to the next. Thus, you will not get bored and can study for long hours. Fifth, be persistent. The Zen master planted two seeds in separate pots. He watered one regularly while the other was neglected. In a few days, the first seed sprouted and grew into a beautiful plant, while the other remained dormant. Then the Zen master said to the boy, Just like the plant, your efforts will bear fruit if you are persistent and consistent. Therefore, study regularly, even if it's just a little every day. Consistency is the key. If you maintain consistency and keep studying, even for a little time every day. Then one day you will definitely turn into a brilliant student. The boy kept coming to the Zen master. Continuously for a few days to learn and practice these principles. When he returned to school, he applied the lessons in his studies. It was not an overnight change. But with time, the boy saw significant improvement. He became more attentive, understood topics better, and remembered what he learned. His grades improved and, more importantly, he began to enjoy learning. Years later, when the boy grew up and became a very successful man, he often used to remember the invaluable lessons he learned from emphasizing that it was not just about studying better but also about living better. He understood that in the journey of life, it is not just about the destination, but the path you take and the lessons you learn along the way. So, friends, if you also face challenges in your study, then just remember that boy's journey. Just like he transformed from a struggling student to a brilliant one, you too can become brilliant with the power of determination, focus, and a clear mind. Embrace each moment and absorb the knowledge around you and break down your goals into manageable steps. As you walk the path of learning, let the Zen master's timeless wisdom remind you that your efforts, no matter how small, will bloom into success. So, go forth with courage. For within you lies the potential to shine as brilliantly as the stars in the night sky.